Okay, I'm, I'm laughing to myself right now because <laughs> I just did another demo of this project on Facebook and it was, it was complicated. I had a lot of internet trouble. Um, I hope that I don't have any internet trouble with you guys here today. But anyways, um, I do know that my internet is spotty. So hopefully we get through this without any major um, drops in the connection. Um, okay, also want to mention up front, you guys, it's 93 degrees where I live right now. And I am so hot. <laughs> it's, it's boiling. So um, I will try to get through this one as quickly as possible just so that I don't have to sit out here in the, in the uh, heat for that long. But um, I'm excited to bring you guys this project because... This is one of my projects, a project that had not been on my blog until this morning. Um, it was a pro an idea I developed years ago for a magazine, and they don't exist anymore. But I've used this project a lot in our classes, and we've done it in workshops. And it's always a fun one for kids. So I And it uses a recyclable, so this is Recycling Week. I wanted to show it to you guys. So what you will need today for this project is a juice box. So a juice pouch works really well. That's actually what I really want you to get. I don't know if a juice box works. Um, other alternatives that have been suggested to me are uh, like those applesauce pouches, but I haven't experimented with those either. I do know that this works. So if you have like a Capri Sun or Honest Kids or something like that, grab it. And one of the things that we do when we do this with our students is we have them drink this for their snack or during snack first, so that then we have the empty pouch. Um, one of the things you'll also need is a straw. So if you have a flexible straw, grab it. If you are lucky enough to have another straw on hand that fits onto your flexible straw, grab it too, because this is also very helpful. If you don't have this, it's not it, it's not necessary because I have an alternative for you. Um, you're also gonna need some tape and scissors, and I believe that's what you need at a minimum, and some paper, and some paper. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead right now and turn my camera around and we're gonna get started. Alrighty, okay, huh. I really hope that this demo doesn't have any of the issues of my previous one. Um, all right, you guys, so let's get started here. You have your Capri Sun, and what you, you don't need the straw that came with it. So um, you may notice that I have a piece of tape on here. I'll tell you about that later. But what I want you to do is take the straw out, the original straw of your Capri Sun, and you can discard it or put it aside, really. And we're gonna get started on making this quick stomp rocket. Now what, um, we're going to need two parts. The rocket has a launcher, which is what we need our, our juice pouch for, and it has a rocket. Um, so we're going to construct the launcher first. And how we're going to do this, we're going to take our flexible straw. Okay. A flexible straw helps the best because is the best because you're going to be able to aim your rocket. So go ahead and take your flexible straw and trim off trim it like so. So you want to trim it so it has like a pointed edge because what we're going to need to do is put it back into our juice container. And because most of the juice pouch straws are really teeny, um, you're going to need to put this point on there just so you can actually insert it. Uh, parents, you may need to help a little bit with this sec this part. I want to make a note. So when I did this earlier, I had some issues with air escaping because the whole got kind of too loose so if your straw your straw needs to be able to fit in here snugly but also it shouldn't be flattened in any way if you feel that the hole is too loose and the air can escape out of the sides of your straw grab a piece of tape and put it down and then cut a teeny hole in the tape like with a with an exacto uh, I learned the hard way that um, without that snug connection, things air escapes and it doesn't do what you want it to do, which is to launch a rocket. So this is our launcher. We're done. We're going to set this aside. Now we're going to make our rocket. Okay. So if you have, like I said, a straw that already fits loosely on top of the other straw, you're golden. All you need to do is trim it to about, I'd say about 
two inches, okay? And set it aside. For those of you that don't have this, I'm gonna show you how to quickly make your own simple paper straw. What you're gonna do is you're gonna trim a piece of paper. I'm gonna trim mine a little bit shorter. So you're gonna grab uh, just a regular old piece of paper or colored paper if you have it, it's always fun. Um, I would cut it about two inches long. Let's just cut this. The lighter weight these are, the better. So I'm trimming it into about a two inch square. I'm taking a pencil and I'm grabbing a piece of tape in advance. So, because I'm gonna need it in a second and it will be helpful to have it pre-cut. What I'm going to do next is I'm gonna take my, um, you know what, I, I just realized a post-it would probably work really well for this. So that might be an alternative. I will explore that idea. Um, now you're gonna take your, your pencil and you're gonna roll your paper on it, okay? Let's try it, let me show you that again. You're gonna take your pencil, and you're gonna roll your paper on, top, on it, around it. And then you're gonna take your tape and tape the edges. So you, I should actually say tape the seam. Now this needs to be airtight. Have like a little, kind of like a fake straw, right? Your own paper straw that you made. Okay, now we're gonna make some fins for our rocket. So this is the rocket body. Now we're gonna make some fins for the sides. And these aren't totally necessary, but they make it look a little decorative and they're kind of, they're, they're, they help it stand up. So I like to add them. There's two methods of how we can add them and I'm gonna show you both. So the way that I like to do it with my students when I have a lot of kids, um, when we're working with a lot of kids, you guys, I have everyone grab some tape. So for this one, you could use clear tape, but it looks nicer if you have some type of masking tape. You need a wide-ish, wide-ish tape, a uh, roll of tape. And then you're gonna cut it into three, you're gonna get three sections of tape. And it doesn't matter if you rip it because we're gonna trim this, so it's totally fine if you just kind of rip it. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to actually, we're gonna take two of the pieces. This can be a little tricky, you guys, so you have to kind of think about this in advance. If if your tape gets stuck together in a way that you don't want, and you can't really pull it apart, just start over, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape two of the pieces together, partly together. So this is what I want us to have, something that looks like this, okay? It's like two pieces of tape stuck together on one end and free on the other, okay? Now I'm gonna take my straw and I'm gonna wedge it in, oops, I'm gonna wedge it in there. I wanna make sure to align the bottom. And now, actually my, my bottom isn't, the bottom there isn't totally aligned. Let me, let me adjust, okay. And now I'm going to put my third piece of tape. Again, I'm gonna align the edges and I'm gonna have like a tape propeller. Um, now this is going to be my base, but obviously it looks a little wonky, so let's trim it with a, like a diagonal cut. And now I have like a little base. And now that I'll have tape available, or just as an alternative idea, we can also make fins out of paper. So similar idea. I'm gonna cut a strip of paper. It can be regular paper. And you guys, you can totally decorate these, by the way. Like every step that I have where I'm using colored paper, you could use decorative paper, um, whatever you want. And I'm gonna cut this into three sections. Um, and it might actually help now that I've got them all, since I didn't do the best, I just eyeballed that. I'm gonna trim them to be about the same. Now I'm gonna stack them. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do the same type of propeller, only I'm gonna tape it. So I'm gonna take my paper straw. I'm gonna, uh, pieces of paper. 
Okay, that's important because um, you're gonna need air to flow through this. I'm just gonna get a couple pieces of tape in advance. Actually, I don't know how far we got there or where that went out, but hopefully we're back. Um, okay, so let's see if I can get this to just launch across my table. How about that? I'm back on. <laughs> Okay. Wow. This has been a very interesting day. My phone, um, my phone overheated. So I'm back. Hopefully I'm going to just show this to the rest of this to you and we're going to move on and let my phone cool down. Okay, you guys. So I'm back with this part. So what we're doing is we are going to launch the second one. Like I said, what you need to do is to inflate your Capri Sun or your juice pouch insert the rocket on the end and i'm going to just press on this okay ready one two three and i launched it across my table and over <laughs> all right that's it i'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna wrap it up wow wowee what a day ah you know that's the joy of being live um anyways you guys